So you've always wanted to make the perfect vegetarian bolognese that doesn't leave you missing meat. Hi, I'm Raffles Chips, and this week I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. It's going to be tasty, perfect with spaghetti or rice. This is going to be your new favourite midweek meal. Let's do this. Sorry, can you possibly pass me my apron, please? Uh, I don't get tomato spatters on my jumper. Who? Me? Yes, you, my handsome friend. Yeah, sure, no worries. Catch! Ah, brilliant, thank you. So tie up your apron, roll up your sleeves, and let's make this. So here's everything you're going to need to make this veggie bolognese. Veg, I'm using mushrooms, celery, and peppers a bag of corn, and a large can of chopped tomatoes. This should make enough for about four to five people if you have it with rice or pasta. Now I know I forgot to mention this earlier, but you're also going to need some garlic and onions to really make the sauce. So start by finely chopping up two onions, and then finely chopping up two or three cloves of garlic as well. Place that to the side in a bowl, and let's get cracking with the rest of our vegetables. I'm using about 10 medium sized mushrooms, roughly chopped up. Again, roughly chopping up three colourful bell peppers and a whole head of celery. Looking forward to your own fast motion plans for the video. Oh, this is going to be one neat fast motion. Once all your ingredients are chopped up, placed neatly into bowls and laid out, it should look something like this. Oh, and don't worry about that yoghurt maker, that's a future video coming very soon. To chip things off, add a couple of tablespoons of vegetable oil to a pan or medium, add in your onions and celery until they start to soften up, switching of course to camera angle B to show off your new higher level of production value to your audience. And now we're going to add in our large amount of mushrooms, so give that a nice stir, then lob in the rest of your bell peppers, stir that around and make sure you get some more close-ups of it with camera angle B. Keep stirring your vegetables on medium-high heat until they release most of their water. You don't want any of this water left in the pan when you've finished with your cooking. Once your vegetables look ready to go, add in a couple of tablespoons of tomato puree, stirring it around to help it caramelise and really deepen its flavour. Then we're going to add our 850 gram can of chopped tomatoes, followed by an equal volume of water, then lower the hob, cover up the pan and let it simmer for about 30 minutes or so. Make sure to open the pan, give it a nice stir every 10 minutes or so to make sure things don't catch and burn at the bottom of the pan. After about 30 minutes of simmering, grab your frozen corn and dump the entire 300 gram bag into your pot, giving it a nice stir around and letting it cook for another 10 minutes or so until tender and tasty. Now here's a clever trick they don't teach you at culinary school. Well, actually they do, and that's where I learnt about it. But you're going to get a couple of tablespoons of hoisin sauce or soy sauce and add it to your veggie bolognese to really deepen its flavour and give it a nice umami boost. Then season to taste with a few generous pinches of Cornish sea salt and a good few twists of freshly cracked black pepper and then let's get to work on our side dish for this veggie bolognese. So to go alongside our veggie bolognese, I'm going to use some wholemeal custos. So grab that out the pantry and then start your kettle boiling on the side. So weigh out about 90 to 100 grams of custos per person. Add in a couple of tablespoons of veggie bouillon powder if you want a bit more taste to your custos. Give everything a nice stir together. Fill up the bowl with boiling water about a centimetre past the top of the trustress, then cover it with a plate or a damp towel and let it sit there for about five minutes until it's ready to eat. For bonus flavour and style points, pick off a few basil leaves from a real basil plant this time and place them to the side in a ramekin to add on top of your dish later on. And if you're cooking for other people, feel free to do a fun fast motion of you laying the table it makes it more exciting than just laying the table by itself. So all that's left to do now is take your food to the table and then plate up. 
I'm going with a generous portion of tustus into a bowl, followed by an equally generous portion of veggie bolognese into my bowl, topping it with a few torn leaves of basil, and then let's see how it tastes. So here's our finished veggie bolognese that I added some whole milk tustus to. Looks pretty good. Let's give it a taste. Okay, this is actually the best dish I've cooked on this channel yet. Tastes like wholemeal custos and a great veggie bolognese. Hopefully you'll make this at home.